What's up y'all, so today's video we are going to learn how to connect a Node.js server to a local MySQL database on Windows. So there's a link in the description below that will take you to dev.mysql and there's two download buttons right here. You want to go ahead and click the first one and we don't need to log in or sign up. We'll just click no thanks to start my download and once that's done, open it up. Alright, so on opening you'll see a bunch of options right here. Just go ahead and click developer default and click next. And if this is the first time you are installing MySQL installer, then there'll be a whole bunch of options here. Just go ahead and select every single one of them. But since I've already done this, I only have these three, so I'll just click next. And I'll click yes. So now we have a whole bunch of things that we have to install. But again, if this is your first time doing this, you won't see this initially. You'll probably see a download now. And just go ahead and download every single one of them. And it should after that, it should say install now or something like that. And click that as well. And once they're all have the status of ready to install, then go ahead and click execute. And just give it a couple minutes. And once it's done, then we'll move on to the next part. All right, so once they're all installed, click Next, and you will see this page right here, Product Configuration. We have to configure every single one of these. So click Next, and we're going to select Standalone MySQL. And we're just going to leave everything as is right now. And we're going to leave that as is. And we have to select a root password. So I'm just going to go with hmm, something that's good enough. I think that should be fine. Oh, it's not even the same password. Whoops. There we go. That's fine. And click next. And we're just going to leave this as is. Click next. Execute. And once it's done, click finish. And now we're going to do the next one. Uh, bootstrap. Yeah, go ahead. Just click finish. And now we're just going to enter our password in our last one. So the password that you wrote the first time that you picked here, we're just going to check it. Whoops, wrong password. Is that good? There we go. Click Next. And now Execute. And once it's done, we're going to click Finish. It's going to take some time. And click Finish. And now we are done with the configuration. All right, so now just click next, and we will leave this as is. We don't need to uh, set up our, we don't need to start up our shell. So we're just gonna click finish and let it take its time to open up Workbench. And so once it's opened up, I am also going to pin this to my taskbar, and you can see that I already made a survey database earlier. But I'm just gonna walk you through how we can set up our own connection right now. All right, to set up a connection, we are going to click this plus sign right here. And I'm going to give this connection the name test database. Let's just do test database like that. And just plus OK. We're going to leave every single option as is and open her up. Remember the password that we set the first time? We're going to enter it right in here if I remember it correctly. Nice. All right, so this is our console that we are going to be using to create queries, enter queries, test queries, and stuff like that. I have a query that I want to make right now so we can change our password that we set initially to just be password, so it just makes us easier. So it just makes it easier for our Node.js application. So I'm just going to do alter user root at local, quote, local host identified with MySQL native password by password and execute that. Cool. All right, so we set up a connection. Now let's create a database. I'm going to get rid of this and I'm going to do create database. Let's database. That's so wrong. Database. There we go. And I'll just name the database test underscore db and execute that. I execute that with control and enter. And so if we go and we refresh right here clicking this, we'll see we have our database built and we have tables, views, stored procedures, functions. What we're going to do is get rid of this query and we're going to do use 
test underscore db. So now we are using our database that we want. So now I have a plain server.js file and I'm going to install our two npm packages that we need. So we're going to npm i express and mysql dash dash save and let it do its thing. It's going to take some time. All right, so now that we have everything installed, we are going to import it. So const express is equal to require express. And I'm going to do const mysql is equal to require mysql. And I'm going to do const app is equal to express. And now I'm going to do const port. Oops. Const port is equal to process process dot env dot port oops capital port and I'm gonna do five thousand app dot listen to port and I'll just do console dot log app is listening on port plus port now let's do node server dot js Cool, so it is listening properly. All right, so now let's create the connection. So right underneath line four, I'm going to do variable connection is equal to mysql dot create connection, curly braces, and I'm gonna do, oops, I'm gonna do host, and it's gonna be local host. I'll do user, and our user was just root, as we set it up earlier in here. Password, this is gonna be password since we changed it. So password and database, the name of our database, which is just test db, so test underscore db. And we are listening on port 3006 since we set it up earlier on here. So it'll just be 3306, save that. All right, so now we created the connection. Now let's actually connect to it. So I'm gonna do connection dot connect. Oops, connect. And I'm gonna do error ES6 syntax. And inside of here I'll do if error, we will just console dot let's whoops throw error. Else let's do console dot log connected. Connected. All oh, right. Let's reset our server. Clear and let's try it out. What's the problem? Okay, so access denied for localhost using password. Yes. Oh, I misspelled password. Whoops, password. All right, let's try it out now. Should work. There we go. We're connected. Yay. All right, let's build a query and run it through. Let's create a table and insert it into that table. So right underneath our line 20, I'm going to do connection dot query. And in quotes, I'll do create table. Let's do table test parentheses. And inside of here, I'll do ID int of 255 unsigned S-I-G-N-E-D. Hopefully, I didn't spell that wrong. Probably did, but auto increment. You got to make sure your spelling is right, or else it just throws the entire thing off. Primary key primary k and next thing we'll do thing and var char oops var char 255 not null and right our side here we'll just do comma error rows and now we'll do ES6 syntax and inside of here we will do if error again throw just throw the error, just throw it right out the window. Else, we will do console.log data sent boys. And also, also console.log rows. So we can see what data was actually sent. So if we reset our server and run it again, we'll see connected, the data was sent and it says OK packet and a whole lot of stuff. So don't worry about this, but if we go back into our visual database right here, we click refresh, oh, 
We have an arrow. Let's open it up. Oh, we have table test. And we have columns, indexes, form keys, everything. Which is great. That's exactly what we wanted. And we see we have columns right here. Let's see if we can visualize. So double click that, select rows. And right here we see that we have ID and thing equivalent to null. So let's try and insert into this. So the inserting part is going to be a little bit tricky. No, I'm just kidding. It'll be pretty simple. Let's comment this out because we don't want to keep creating more and more tables. And right underneath here, we will do, again, connection.query. And let's do insert into. Did I spell insert right? I did spell insert right. Okay. Insert into table test ID uh, thing values let's insert one for the ID and that actually no not that not that this nice no not 15 69. okay now close it up and comma let's do error rows again same thing so we'll just do if error we'll just throw error else console dot log you know you know I have to do it data sent boys and I also do console dot log rows save that and reset our server and we'll see an error <gasps> what's wrong uh, throw error unknown column go get 69 in field list <gasps> what's wrong thing var chart it's a var chart though oh I think I need to do these quotes and double quote these okay let's try this out okay save it and let's retry it should work yay okay and now if we refresh this we will see if we select rows again ID 1 cool guy 69 Cool, so that concludes this tutorial. We were able to learn how to A, set up a local MySQL database, install a visualization software, and actually be able to connect to it and run queries into it using a Node.js server. If you had any problems or anything, leave it in the comments down below and I'll try to get to them as soon as possible. But uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one.